It's time for the final mission of the Alliance campaign called the Curse of the Blood Elves. And to be completely honest with you, we aren't really part of the Alliance anymore at this point, right? Anyway, it's called Lord of Outland Chapter 6. Later that day, at the base of Mactharadon's Black Citadel, Illidan marshals his forces for their final strike. Let's have a look. I'm excited. Our enemies draw near, Lord Mactharadon. These upstarts are tiresome gnats, nothing more. The might of Mactharadon cannot be denied. I am the Lord of Outland. Those who dispute my rule will soon regret their folly. Mactharadon has grown strong over the years, but he has had few real foes to contend with. He has become decadent and complacent. The boisterous cur cannot match our cunning or our will. This will be a glorious battle, Master. Though Mactharadon's forces vastly outnumber ours, your warriors are prepared to fight to the end. I am pleased by your people's zeal, young game. Their spirits and powers have been honed in this harsh wilderness. They're just killing themselves. Their courage alone may be enough to... Lord Illidan, new arrivals come to greet you. We Drenai have fought the orcs and their demon masters for generations. Now at last, we will end their curse forever. We are yours to command, Lord Illidan. Oh, they're stealthed. Yep, they are. Okay, that's awesome. They're stealth assassins. Not bad. <laughs> As I promised, your people shall have their vengeance, Akama. By night's end, we will all be drunk with it. Bosh, Kale, give the final order to strike. The hour of wrath has come. Alrighty, so it looks like our units are actually split up in twos. Can I create? Oh no, certainly I can't. <laughs> I was hoping once again I could make the cuddles like I did in the previous mission. At least that's how I assume you had to. Uh, you have to pronounce that. Regardless, though, uh, it looks like we are split up in two different sites. Plus, we got the Draenei right up here ahead, who are indeed fully stealthed. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous mission, though, I'll leave a link to that one down below in the description of this video, where I basically create only really a single unit, and it goes like an absolute charm. I create, uh, or I can create quite a few different kinds of units here for the Naga. Certainly not, you know, the strongest one here, but that's alright. Um, I think we're gonna have to push onwards with two different kinds of armies. I've only got a thousand gold here, but I'm assuming that all of my units... Yeah, exactly, they don't cost any, uh, they don't cost any, uh, any lumber here either. It's the same true here on this end as well. Looks like that is true, yep, so... I think I'm gonna be building some here on the human end of things first, and we'll see if we can push up with that for just a little while longer, because I don't actually have a mining base. I've only got a thousand resources here, and that's about it. Um, not a whole lot. I guess we'll just simply build a bunch of units here. Um, I think we should probably focus on one end at a time, and of course, if it doesn't work out, we can, of course, always, like, restart it and then go from there. Yes, right away. Me. So I'll get started right here on this end instead. Did just go into high upkeep, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, now let's have a quick look. So we can we can snipe these, and actually there are golden coins. Okay, nice. Um, there are quite a few of these forces, I guess, but I should be able to take them out quite easily. So we got a bunch of the, actually a bunch of orc spells right here. First off, I got chain lightning, Veral spirit, as well as shadow strike, um, which is of course not an orc spell, but they do drop us more and more golden coins, so that's very cool. I got a Draenei Elite Assassin, and I don't think I can actually remake any of these units. Amidst a terrifying howl that reduces nearby enemy units attack damage by 25%. Okay. We got Draenei Saboteur with Healing Wave. Okay, so we can cast that if we want to. And that's actually it. Alright, alright. So, your guys are gonna be Hotkey 3. I think I'm gonna be building up a bunch more for Hotkey Group number 2 here. Uh, I don't really need... I don't really need that many. I guess I can make some spell breakers. That would probably be helpful. Um, before moving onwards, though, I'm gonna try and see if I can build up some additional forces. Although I got a, I got a pretty good control group as it is right now. So, you know what? You know what? I'll spend some more time here actually building up on her end as well. And I guess we'll focus then on uh, Mermidions or Mermidons, who seemed awfully powerful in the earlier stages of this playthrough. 
The blood elves are like okay. As long as I'm not attack moving with my priests, generally speaking, life should be pretty straightforward. But apparently they are attacking. Deadly Assassin Saboteurs are excel at stealthy movement. They are permanently invisible, except while casting or attacking. Alright, you know what? We'll do a little bit of exploration. So before doing anything, I'll make sure here to save, just because we can. I will do what I can. And... If it must be done. We'll do a... We'll, we'll just simply look around. I need to destroy, apparently, a bunch of things. To destroy the fortifications that defend this gate. Locate and destroy the generator that powers them. Okay, so that's the one that we saw in a cutscene as well. I assumed we needed to kill more of those. That's all fine and dandy. So can I cast this actually while... Actually, may I not just be able to walk over there? Hold up. Can I just simply walk past everything? They've got no detection at all. Wait, are you telling me I can just walk to the generator and just kill it just like that? Look at that. There's an orc base, but it's doing absolutely nothing. All right, well that works for me. We will share. I can just simply kill that. All right, <laughs> with the generator destroyed, the gates defense are no longer able to fire. All right, very good. So my main quest objective here is to slay the master of pain and slay the mistress of torment, who turn out to be here all the way on the other end of the map. So this is the master of pain, and this is the mistress of torment. We got disabled defenses, which I'm pretty sure I just can easily do here because everything seems to be cloaked anyway. Um, and we also have got a couple of undiscovered quests that I guess we'll get through a little while later. Kills Phoenix spell is disabled during a mission. That's a little unfortunate. Anyway, I guess it's time for us to move onwards. Now, if I am correct here, I don't think I can create any more Drenna units. So I want to try and keep these dudes alive. There are a few forces here up ahead, but I think I'm just simply gonna keep these guys here in the back because I need them to like disable the defenses. We'll bring these priests over as well, just because we can. And I guess we'll push in here. Yes, my friend. Doesn't seem like there are too many units here for the time being, though, so we can easily take these out. And there is a fountain of mana over here, which is very good for my priests. These units I can all recreate, right? Including my uh, my heroes. Oh god, what's that? Butcher? Is this Diablo? <laughs> Looks like it. All right. Oh, he's actually silencing things. Oh god, this thing is really strong. This thing is actually really powerful. Alright. We just have to be a little careful, I suppose. Can I mana burn him? Looks like I can somewhat. Alright. This is actually a really kind of terrifying fight here. Turns out these things are really strong, and at the same time, apparently the orcs are once again engaging us as well. Oh man, already we're in trouble. I think I may have just been a little slow here. I may just simply need to restart this. <laughs> oh, actually, I didn't read his ulti just yet, but Akama's ultimate, the Elder Sage apparently, is that he comes back to life. So I guess while we can't really rebuild him at like the altar here, whatever, he just basically comes back by himself, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm also gonna just build up some more units here. I'll just build up as many units as I possibly can. So, well, as long as I've got gold, that is, of course. I just want to make sure that I get a bunch more units out before engaging onwards. I think I do need to be very, very careful, by the way, using the Drenna here. So I'm waiting for the first attack wave, which should come in here very, very shortly. Uh, you guys can be hold key number three, which is fair enough. You guys can be hold key number two. And uh, do I have room for one more? I can make one more. There we go. And I know that the orcs are going to be engaging here very, very shortly. So we'll fight those off and then go straight into the counterattack. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to keep engaging us until we, like, you know, kill that uh, that orc base. I think after killing that orc base, I think that's about the time when I'm going to start moving right here on the eastern end of the map as well. I'm just going to focus on one part at a time. It's probably easier. I don't know if it's, like, a disadvantage in any way, shape, or form, though. All right, so the orcs are coming in. Which is fair enough. They are really easy to kill here. They really don't do any damage. I guess I can always use Flame Strike if I absolutely need to. I'm pretty sure Illidan takes damage from that though, so, you know. That's alright. And I'll make sure here to push through that gate next. Alright, Diablo. Or Butcher Rotter. <laughs> we need to fight once again. I don't even know if I need to take you down, but I do know that you're very strong. Man, they're all muting me. There we go, though. He's taking a lot of damage right now. 
I'm assuming the items that he drops are going to be really good. Man, he still does a lot of damage though in such a short amount of time. And I'm actually losing a lot of my troops here. Alright, well finally he goes down. That is kind of terrifying here, right from the get-go. These things are really strong. Apparently though, there is a Tomb of Intelligence. Now what is there here? Words Otter Leg. We got a stone token as well as two Tombs of Strength. Do you benefit from that, sir? No, you are all Intelligence heroes, I guess. Maybe I should have used him for this engagement here as well. Anyway, regardless, I guess I'll pick them up right here. Go from there. And I guess I can pick up some items here as well on Akama, who's currently got a Staff of Silence. Um, as well as a clause of attack plus nine, but I guess he can use some My of these other items too. Avenged. That's fair enough. Oh, there's a rune of greater resurrection. I didn't even see that. Well, there we go. That makes life a little easier. <laughs> Kills Phoenix spell is indeed disabled during this, but that's all right. We got a stone token as well as words on our leg. Perhaps the overzealous adventurer pried this off before his journey here, thinking it might give him one last opportunity at bovine slaughter. Little did he know it would lead him here. All right. Very fun. I got a leg, apparently, that I can't really use. A little strange there. Here the orcs are once again pushing onwards. We should be able to take care of these right now. Maybe I should take these dudes as well. That's alright. Actually, a lot of different heroes to cast with, though. Kind of a pain, because there's simply so many buttons to press. It's pretty difficult to micro. But at least we're, uh, we're cleaning up this area, and we're picking up different sets of gold. And I guess this wasn't really worth it after all, except that I do have that, you know, mana fountain over here. So I can use that to, you know, get back in, uh, in action a little bit later. I guess next up, though, it's time to destroy that power generator once again. And I'll keep on producing as many things here as I can. So this is going to be a rather large engagement over here. I'm not sure if I even got enough here, but I guess there's only one way to find out. I can also, at the same time, use these guys, but I'm a little worried that I'm going to lose too many troops if I decide to do so. At least I can push onwards here. We'll pick up Banish. And I guess I'll try and just simply flame strike part of this map. At the same time, I'm also going to try and see if I can fight that thing. Okay, very good. Although, I'm losing them too quickly though, like to my own flame strikes there as well. Not quite what I had in mind, and I wonder if that's not a little too much. You know what, let's try this engagement again, and this time around I'm only gonna bring Akama over here. Which should probably make this a little easier as well. Activate that ability. Get the priests a little bit closer. And basically, since he can easily replenish all the things anyway, and he can come back to life just by simply, you know, casting some things here and there. I should probably be okay. I can activate a scroll of resurrection just like that. And we'll just simply try and push here as aggressively as we can. While also using the abilities here of Akama. And if I can if I can clean this up this way, right? And I can keep all of the rest of the Draenei alive, it's probably beneficial for me to do this. Oh actually the Draenei are super good at killing buildings. Look at that. They do a ton of damage in a very short amount of time, way more than the other dudes do. That's actually great. Okay, maybe I... I don't know. Like, taking them into the engagement, if I lose a bunch of them, I know they're not gonna come back, right? Whereas I can replenish the rest of my uh, ground army here, although... Speak to me. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, because I've got very few units remaining now. Yeah, it's actually these saboteurs right here in the back that do this much work. I can use them for healing and all that, but they're really great at killing buildings as well. Easily. The nearby Bastion mm. holds many of the Orcs' demonic siege weapons. We must crush the compound's defenders and claim the weapons for our own. Speak to me. Okay, so there's a couple of other things we can do. All right, fair enough. Um, I wonder if I even got enough troops for this. You know what? There's only one way to find out, I guess. Sadly, I can't really cast any spells here, which is kind of a pain. He did get level up as well. But so far, we seem to be capable of pushing this very, very easily. Although most of my units, I guess, are in some trouble. We gotta be capable of killing these and, you know, get some more golden coins, but... Ugh. Is that all? This does give me, apparently, these Fel Orc Demolishers, though. Huh. 
Alright, let's see what's up next. Because I can still continue onward for a little while longer. I just wonder if I need to take down another one of these bases. I think I'm going to be in some trouble. There is apparently a gate over here. Can I destroy that? I can indeed. Although, that's actually nothing too helpful. I should probably not even consider doing that. Get out! Get back to stealth! There you go. Can I not just simply right click on that generator? Is that a thing? Or am I gonna have to am I gonna have to open up a gate or something? Alright, next set of orc attackers is just about to move in here. That's fair enough. We can take these out just fine. At least I got these fell orc demolishers though. I think they are gonna be quite helpful here at taking down the shenanigans. I'm really little I'm a little scared here and maybe a little too careful. To use my flame strike just because I killed a lot of my own units in before. I'm blind. Anyway, there's actually a lot of great items here. Can you can you go through there somehow? I think you can still swim, right? I'm pretty sure you can. There's a fountain of health here to the right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take out a gate or something in order to get to watch that generator. Pretty tricky mission thus far, but I feel like we're doing all right at least. I'm taking down quite a few of these units that were guarding this area, but I'm still not even remotely close here to the power generator. I wonder if I should maybe decide... Oh, actually, there's one of these activation points once again. I wonder if I should maybe decide to, um... To simply be very careful here. And, like, start moving on the other end of the map as well. I think we're, uh, we're just simply gonna continue onwards for a little while longer, though, until I can't really afford to continue onwards anymore. It's just that if I'm spending all of my money over here, right? Oh, if I'm spending all the money that I get right here on this end of the uh, of the map, I'm a little worried that I'm not going to be capable of getting any units out for uh, for Lady Vash. Now, Lady Vash is not under any attack; like she seems to be safe. Whereas on this end, the orcs do consistently push out, so it's probably a good idea to uh, to do what I am doing thus far. But still, it's a little it's a little scary to uh, to spend all of the resources that I'm gathering right over here. Another two of these Aradars right here. That's a Warlock as well as a Sorcerer. Ooh. Did not imagine that they would be pushing right now. Uh, I don't really want to lose these guys. They're probably really important. Oh, man. Ah, we're actually dealing with this. We're actually dealing with this without really losing a whole lot thus far. <laughs> and of course the Aradars. They're still there. Gotta wake up kill. Kill. You gotta do some shenanigans here. Okay, very good. Now let me pick up those golden coins apparently. How do you get in there? Oh, there's a gate right there. Alright, good. Um, there's also a whole lot of crates. So there's probably some good items in at least some of these, right? Please tell me there's something in these. Oh yeah, a period, a period, fatality thing. <laughs> Is there anything bad here? Ring of protection plus five. What's your worst item? Mm. Actually, you should probably give that pennant of mana to kill. All right, let's do a little bit of scouting up ahead here, just to see where these uh, where these guys are headed right now. Can they actually take this out? <gasps> I think they can. They have really no detection at all. Yeah, of course they get spotted though as soon as they uh, as soon as they go into combat here. All right, let's go, let's go. Back, quick, back, quick, back. Yeah, right there. Look, if they're attacking, they get spotted. But otherwise, we're totally fine. And this does mean that I can continue building up some more of these things, more and more of these spell breakers, maybe a few more archers. Very good. We're actually closing in on a maximum amount of supply as well uh, right now, which I didn't really assume to be a thing. But we did once again shut down some of the aggression here. Um, there is another one of those bases up ahead, and that would bring me straight to the Master of Pain. So let me save right here, just in case. Are there demons nearby? And I'll try and see if I can take out this I'm army here. I'm blind, my not deaf. I grow Considering I've still got a lot of troops though, I think I'm gonna be just yeah, fine. Although I am losing a few units here and there. A few more of these spellbreakers would be very helpful. There we go. I'm trying to micro here to the best of my abilities, but it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, micro in this game is a little tricky because sometimes the uh, the friendly fire and whatnot can absolutely shut you down. There we go. 
Try and see what I can do here. Very good. Oh man. I need you guys to stop this thing now. Can you do that? I'm gonna lose a bunch of my things there though. I'm gonna lose quite a few of my units here. Finally, I'm hitting the watchtower there. Considering the vast amount of different units that I've got here, and considering my micro is most definitely not my strong suit, I feel like I'm doing all right-ish. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's looking okay, and I am progressing onwards. I'm taking down this base here too, but I'm losing way more units in the process than I should. But we're still making progress here. I'm just a little worried that I can't kill the Master of Pain. But that's that's for that's you know that's a problem for a couple of minutes from now. For now, we seem to be doing all right. I'm not sure how many units I'm gonna need here though, because this is all the army I can muster at this point. I guess I can have a quick look here, see if there's maybe something hidden in these chests. Um, there may actually still be some units over here as well. Yeah, there are still going to be some, but that's all right. Ooh, there's a healing self. Very good. But you know, like, there's so many items and spells and skills and whatnot to activate here that it's pretty difficult to see what's going on. Scroll of the Beast. I'm pretty sure, actually, Scroll of the Beast should be really good. Um, man, all of the items are pretty solid right now. Do you have anything terrible? Oh, you got Ring of Protection plus one. All right. Pick up the Scroll of the Beast at the very least, kill. I'm pretty sure that's like an area of effect spell to make everyone stronger, right? Yeah, exactly. So that may be one of the answers here. For this next uh, next bit, I'm not sure if I need these troops after like destroying the Master of Pain and the Mistress of Pain. I probably do. I probably do. Anyway, make sure to save right here. I'll put it on Loco Three because we're gonna have to take a pretty tough engagement. Demons nearby. I need to take out this. Oh man, I don't think I can take these out. I think this is the hardest battle we have done so far. I've got a bunch of troops, but. It's nothing all too impressive. And, um, well, you know, the best way to figure that out, I guess, is to just simply push onwards here. Man, I wish I could actually use my skills. That would be helpful. Okay. We can use the scroll of the beast, I guess. And we can use, uh... Some of uh, some of the healing here as well. Certainly, I did lose that area of effect skill from previous. As long as we can kill this, though, if we can kill this, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry too much about anything. Because we are killing a lot of things here at the same point or at the same time. I don't actually need to micro uh, back my spell breakers here. Actually, we're doing way better than I thought we would. Okay, nice. Okay, got him. I got him. I actually managed to do that. All right. I actually was looking at that engagement, did not think we could. There's a cage of agony here. Oh, wow, really? Are you kidding me? Well, that's not quite what I had in mind. All right. I should have probably popped some of these spells before the engagement rather than afterwards, but it's okay. Can mana burn him? And he's gonna fall here for the second time. <laughs> Alright, very good. Let's see what's in that cage then. There is an orb of venom. The orbs are so good. Pick it up. So these are going to be level 4 units that I can put in my army. Alright, fair enough. And what happens when I stand into that circle? Does that... Hey! I've got a priest here? I didn't even know that. Um, does that, like, activate one of the bridges or something? It probably did. Anyway, it looks like I've actually done fairly well at getting towards the, you know, the top left corner here at the very least. Actually, look at that. I can burn down these mushrooms here. I was just about to start off on the Naga end of things. Maybe I should wait for that a little bit longer, just because... Oh, man, there are so many things here. This is kind of terrifying. Anyway, just because I uh, I don't have that many units right now on this end of the map anymore, I'm blind, not deaf. I'm a little worried that I didn't do as great as I was hoping I am. Just because. <sighs> Can I not just grab these coins? I don't even need to fight these guys. There you go. I was gonna say I spent all of my gold on this end, and this will actually bring me pretty close 
as fast as I can. To the other end of the map. Actually, hold up. I was asking earlier, can Ilden swim? If he can swim... We should move soon. I'm going to put you guys right over here. If you can swim... Yeah! He can walk on water at the very least. I'm probably going to be capable of... Oh god. I was going to say, I'm probably going to be capable of making him join this battle over here. Um, this seems like a really dumb move, Loco. 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 Uh, this seems like a really dumbass move. But if I can join or make him join forces with the Naga... I'm pretty sure life would become a little easier. <laughs> Maybe I should let them join a little while later, but regardless, we've made it. We've made it. All right. So these guys are going to be parked right over here for a little while, right? Apparently, I got some troops over there, too. Everyone, get to the Fountain of Mana. In the meantime, I'll forget that this part of the map even exists, and we're going to push on this end of the map instead. I'll start creating some of these... Naga Miramidons, I think is what they are called, because I really like those in the previous missions. And I'll create some Siren as well, just because they were pretty strong. And I think once we got that done, I'm gonna start pushing onwards. Like I was saying though, I am a little worried that I lost too many units and spent too much gold here on the left hand side of the map. I mean, I completed the objective, right? The main objective, it's done. I just wonder whether or not I did it a little too inefficiently. Anyway, I guess I can't really find out until the end of the mission. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, we do have Ensnare on these Mimirdons, but apparently these are Royal Guard. Okay, these are actually a little different. They're much larger as well. Crushing Wave. We get Frostbolt as well as Summon Sea Elemental. You dare huh. speak to me. Really cool. Alright, so I'll make sure here to save. And we'll, uh, we'll start progressing on this end of the map instead. I grow and I guess we'll figure out whether or not it works I'm out later. I'm actually really happy, though, that I can apparently I have Illidan join this part as well. Because Illidan is super strong. Probably the strongest hero in the game. There we go. Can I consume boats? Nope. I grow That's alright, though. I do now also, of course, have got her abilities ready to go. Which were really good, as we found out previously. And we're going to be capable of progressing onwards here rather easily. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that we got no healing on this end whatsoever. So, that's a little unfortunate. Apparently, the Naga will start fighting here as well. Um, Lady Vash, I kind of need you to join over here. And apparently, I can cast some Frostball just like that. Once again, these fights are also super messy. I'm trying to consume some dudes here. Trying to eat some of these. Which seems to be working out thus far. And we actually are pushing onwards here to the Fountain of Health. Very good. First part, done. And now that I am once again broke and with a reasonably large army, I guess it is time for us to push onwards. So let me save right here. And I wonder, I guess we'll find out right here. I wonder if I've got enough stuff. I wonder if I've got enough units. Now I'm gonna activate that once again here as well. Try and see if it can do a bunch of damage. Apparently your tornado is really good against buildings, so we'll activate that here too. I'll spawn some of these dudes. There we go. And I'll go ahead and put that right on top of that building. Which is what you guys pointed out. I should use a lot more efficiently. Okay. So far, we're seemingly looking pretty good. Okay. These guys are actually some crazy powerful uh, spellcasters here. I guess I can consume some units, right? Yeah, there we go. And I need these turtles to start attacking th some of these buildings. We need to kill this before more and more units join us. I don't want to lose anything if I can at all avoid it. Although, this dragon turtle... Starting to be a little too close. Okay, consume one of these dudes. There you go. That makes it a little easier for us. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Delicious. Orc. Nom nom nom. Alright, and actually, it looks like we're doing pretty good. We are indeed pushing onwards here, and I did not lose a single unit. With the exception of this dragon turtle, who is practically dead right now. But I guess I can send them back towards the Fountain of Health after the shenanigans. And after we clean up everything. There are some barrels of explosions here. Huh, that's pretty cool. Guys, don't don't fight that yet. There's really no reason for that. Please. 
Ooh, actually, that blew up a path. Hold up. I'm once again gonna stand right here for a little bit at the fountain, just to make sure that we, uh... And actually clean up the last of the buildings here as well, but just so we are once again at a nice amount of health. And I'll send these guys up north to see what's going on. These are the parasites that get spawned from the from the siren. <gasps> Look at that! So much gold! And apparently a bunch of orcs. I'm blind, not dead. You dare speak to me. Alright, that's okay. We'll have to fight these guys. Are they gonna go through the trees? I'm blind. I'm not sure if they do. Let me push. Are there demons nearby? I'm not sure which of the ones is the real one. That's a little unfortunate. There we go. But I think I'm gonna be capable of getting all of these golden coins, which is really nice. And I guess I could actually just simply skip this entire part here. Although I guess I can pick up the single book that we saw earlier, but I guess I could just simply skip this entire part here. And I probably didn't even need to worry about any of these ships, but... Uh. Anyway, we got some more gold available once again. So what I'll do is produce some more sirens, and I'll produce some more of these myrmidons. <laughs> myrmidons? Myrmidons. That's all I got. Oh god, no! Don't, Mr. Turtle! Oh man, that was my turtle. Not cool, dude. Not cool. So much damage, though, in such a short amount of time. It's kind of terrifying. But I think we're cleaning up most of this reasonably well. And while apparently the Naga Sea Witch has fallen, which I did not anticipate for. I can probably respawn her in just a bit. Actually, losing her is kind of a big deal here. It's kind of, kind of a tr oh man, I actually... Can I get her back? Oh no, I don't have enough right now. Alright, well, you know what, we'll just simply push onwards. Apparently I can push into these golden coins right away, so that's gonna allow me to resurrect her. I feel really bad whenever I destroy one of my own heroes there on accident. Is that all? If I can, if I can actually still push on here, speak to me. that would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty great. But actually, I can join forces now. Can I not? <gasps> I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can bring my human troops over as well. That's super good. Yeah, so look at that. That's all of my troops back together. It's a bit of a mess to hotkey. <laughs> not gonna deny that fact. Um, how am I gonna hotkey all of this? Uh, I guess I can just leave it as it is. I mean, I'm not I'm not doing that great of a job at microing this army here to begin with anyway. I'm blind, not um, you're gonna be on hotkey though, because you gotta save a spot right here for Lady Vash. I'm gonna hotkey you guys together here. And we'll just simply add on a bunch more units here on both ends. And I'll move everything onwards here. I'll move everything onwards here and we'll push here as aggressively as we can. Oh man, these guys are really strong actually. Whew, that's way stronger than I thought they were. Um, I do need to make sure that Akama, though, can take down his last power generator, too. Because he's the only one that is cloaked currently. Alright, Akama. You're the last of your people for now. Help us destroy some crates. Apparently there's a whole lot of pretty solid items here, actually. Ugh. I guess at the end of this mission, though, all of these items will be gone anyway, but... I kind of need you to push onwards here and potentially disable some things. So have a look, have a look around, see what's going on here. Maybe you can destroy this one. Although, I don't think it's gonna work. I may be able to distract him or something with some feral spirits. As soon as I destroy it, I'm gonna be just fine. Get it. Alright, alright, get it. No, 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 what are you doing, Illidan? Get back there. Alright, very good. Very good. And I guess at the same time, I should try and move over there too. We're gonna take out this base very, or these units very, very easily. Um, I'm trying to see if I can make my way over towards that generator too, but I guess it's blocked somewhere. Not entirely sure where that would be. I'll pick up, well, I don't really need a ring of protection plus one, I guess. I'll pick up whatever items I can right here on Akama, because of course I ended up dropping quite a few. Um, there we go. And while I got a, a wide variety of units here, I think I'm going to control most of my heroes just simply using the F1, F2, F3, F4 keys. Um, it's time for us 
to push into this, I think, I think final base, right? I think so. I think so. So once again, I'm just being safe here. I'm being very, very, very... Dare speak to me. Like, you know, bad at controlling so far, but... Akama. Well, I guess you can lead the charge, dude. That's alright. You resurrect anyway. Okay. You get that one down. You activate your ulti there. And I guess we'll just simply try and do a bunch of damage here. I wish I had my Phoenix. The Phoenix would be really good. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not even sure what I am microing. I can barely see what's happening here. I think we're doing pretty good, though. I think we're doing pretty good. We're taking out things. We're killing We're killing stuff. I'm killing them faster than they're killing me, so that's good. And I think we managed to take down this base here, too. Very good. All right. Um, That's about as good as it could have gone, right? Yo, Agama. I need you to check out what's up over here. Actually, you can't swim, right? There must be something over here. I guess there may have been a shortcut over there. Huh. I may have been able to move over there quite easily. Anyway. We're taking down the last of these buildings. So I'm pretty sure that we'll stop all of the attacks now as well. And this is probably where the final battle will take place, right? I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Maybe I should clean up some of these units. I'm pretty sure, like, since it, it gives me, like, an undiscovered quest here, right? After slaying the Mistress of Torment. I'm pretty sure this is where the final engagement will take place. And where I'm going to be facing off against uh, Macteridon himself. So what if I just simply decide... I grow impatient. My people must be to push up there. Right now. And clean up all of these... Like, all of the trash. Right? Doesn't that make it a little easier a little while later? I hope so. <laughs> My units can't even move up there. It's okay, though. We're killing them way faster than they can kill us. All right, Mr. of Pain. I'm gonna try and take you out. Oh, God. There's a lot of shit here. Okay. Down for a bunch of damage here. Down for a tornado. Down for clicking things. Down for wolves. Down for consuming if the... Things are at the front, by any chance. Time for spawning water elementals. Time for more and more of these waves and frost bolts and stuff. Time for Illidan to become a demon hunter once again, because I thought I clicked that button already, but it's okay. And it looks like we've managed to kill all the last of it once again, right? Didn't we? Is she going to respawn again? Is that what's going to happen? I mean, oh yeah, there she is. Okay, can you guys kill that, please? She's doing a little too much damage here. Not a fan. That's okay, though. That will be that one taken care of. I can even loot some more gold here, but... Oh! Oh! Where was that? Oh! It's... Oh! Right over here. Alright. Slay the mighty pit lord. Mactharadon. Alright. I can create some more units here. So I'll gladly do so. I think we'll just regroup with all of the things that we've got. And we'll wait until we uh, got a maxed out force. And actually, hold up. I'm gonna have to destroy these crates here first as well. But with that, I think it's time for us to push onwards. I was hoping here, Mactheridon would shoot up, it would show up here on the right hand side. But sadly, even though I was trying to be cheeky there, it didn't work like that. Alright, I think this is it. I'll just attack move right here, okay? Now, I know this is gonna be possible. I'm almost certain that it is. I just need to clean up the dudes that are in front right here, and we'll just have to micro this really well. And that's where things get tricky, because the micro part is not easy. Not easy to do in any, in any, by any stretch, rudder, but... You know what? We'll just push straight on. I got four control groups worth of units. A lot of stuff. We just need to try and kill things. Kill thus, kill things. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Gotta try and make sure that my dudes stay alive here for as long as we can. And we just need to murder as many of these heroes as we go up against right now as we possibly can afford. There's a greater rune of resurrection here as well. Maybe I should have waited with that for a little while longer. But regardless. Making progress here. Killing things. Microing really poorly. I know there's going to be some high level Warcraft 3 players looking at me and they're like, what the heck is this guy doing with his control? I'm blind, not deaf. But, um, I'll take it. I'll take it. So there's going to be some more units or some more items right over here. Demonic figurine. Let's pick those up. We'll give it a minute here, just because all of my units are currently being healed up here by my gazillion priests. <laughs> What does that do? Demonic figurine summons a doom guard to fight for me as well as a scroll of restoration. We got we got some good stuff. We got some good stuff. I'll wait here for the metamorphosis to be ready and off cooldown. I'll save her once again, and well, you know, we'll just simply push up. I wonder if I'm gonna have enough though, because these things are gonna be super strong. These are gonna be some really powerful elite guards here. I'm blind, not deaf. We should move soon. Don't be afraid. All right. I'll try and set up a bit of a concave. But here we go. Um, we'll just simply do a bunch of this. A little bit of that. Maybe I should have waited right here as well, but eh, that's okay. Okay. I'm doing as much damage here as I possibly can. We'll activate that too. Inner fire. Activate that too. Do some work. Please tell me I've got enough units here. Please tell me I've got enough. I mean, I have a hard time following exactly what's going on here. Mactarodon is not taking a whole lot of damage just yet. Apparently, I can dispel damage. Rain of fire. And of course, he will res resurrect here, right? In just a second. I think we may be able to do this. I think just barely we may be able to do this. Once again, I'm, I keep mana burning him. So hopefully he's gonna, you know, not be able to live for that much longer. I've used all of the last of my consumables. Actually, I think the, uh, I think the, uh, the dude may have died permanently because he died twice before his ulti was off cooldown. But I've got enough, right? I'm killing him right now. That Doom Guard is a summon unit for me. I've got my heroes alive. They are all level 10 here too. I've got a few more Naga. He's not target firing me down very efficiently. I think I may have just barely done this. As sloppy as this mission went, he's going down right now. In before he resurrects. He does not. Huh. We actually did it. I, think. I do not know you, stranger, <laughs> but your power is vast. Are you an agent of the Legion? Have you been sent to test me? <laughs> I have come to replace you. You're a relic, Mac Theridan. A ghost of a past age. The future is mine. From this moment on, Outland and all of its denizens will bow to me. Hear me now, you trembling mortals. I am your lord and master. Illidan reigns supreme. And with that, we've completed it. The finale, Kill Jaden's Command. Moments later, as Illidan stands triumphant, a massive storm of fire and fury envelops the Black Citadel. What is this, Marsh? Where did this storm come from? Keep your head down, fool. Something terrible is drawing near. Foolish little monster. You failed to destroy the frozen throne as I commanded. And still you thought to hide from me in this 
forsaken backwater. I thought you to be more cunning. Captain, I was merely set back. I was attempting to bolster my forces. The Lich King will be destroyed. I promise you. decision. Still, the quest lies before us. Will you follow me into the cold heart of death itself? The Naga are yours to command, Lord Illidan. Where you go, we follow. The Blood Elves are yours as well, Master. We will drive the Scourge before us and shatter the Frozen Throne as you command. So Kill Jaden is not happy, but at the very least, even though it's called the Alliance Campaign, even though there's very, very, very little alliancy to it, um, we are indeed looking to complete the Legacy of the Damned here next. Now, of course, that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode, and what I'm going to be starting off with as well. I've heard that the Scourge Campaign, so indeed the Legacy of the Damned, is by far the most difficult one of this entire playthrough. And so far, it's been pretty tricky already. Some of you pointed out that the first mission of the Legacy of the Damned is already much more difficult than the entire, like, you know, previous missions that we have done thus far. Um, after that, there is also still the bonus campaign, the founding of Jurotar. Um, uh, you know, some of you pointed out that that should be a lot of fun as well, so I do plan on completing that one too. Regardless, though, solid fun today. Happy to have completed the Alliance campaign, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as the first episode of the Scourge campaign goes live. And other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.